Hello, Nation. I'm here with my very good friend and colleague, Jeremy Pettis. Today, we're going to talk about glucagon. What is glucagon and when do we use it? And what are some of the future advances in glucagon? And this is one of Jeremy's uh, particular interest in research. So I'm going to let him explain it to you. Yeah, so glucagon is kind of the forgotten stepchild in diabetes hormones. You know, we talk about insulin, 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 insulin. But glucagon is also really important. So insulin brings your blood sugars down and glucagon brings your blood sugars up. The problem, however, in diabetes is that when us type 1s and people with type 2, when we get hypoglycemic, we don't make enough glucagon to help bring our blood sugars back up. So that's one of the reasons why we get low and you know it's hard for us to recover. So sometimes we need to take glucagon to bring our blood sugars back up. So what do you think about our current options of how we do that? Yeah, now Jeremy just said we have to take glucagon. Uh, normally, you don't go to a rescue glucagon kit unless you're doing the fried egg and you can't swallow. It's usually uh, a loved one that's giving it to you or someone's calling paramedics. And the current rescue glucagon kits, first of all, they're hard to open. And glucagon is very unstable uh, when it's all mixed up. So it comes as a powder. So think about this, your loved one's doing having a seizure and you're getting this thing out. You've never seen it before. you never, never seen it before. It. Yeah, you gotta squirt this diluting fluid into this container, shake it up, then suck it back out, and then jam it into the patient while they're writhing around on the, on the ground. And I can tell you, sometimes people who are giving this are more traumatized than the person who's having the low blood sugar because they don't remember a darn thing. Yeah, and I've heard horror stories where people know they're supposed to inject something, but instead of grabbing this, they grab insulin and inject it. You know, So all kinds of horrible things can happen. Yeah. And this is, you know, I was looking that this one expired in 2012, which is also pretty <laughs> typical. So. We need to update that here at TCOID. Yeah, it, it's an important point because they expire pretty quickly. Why don't you mention some of the newer advances? Yeah, so again, this is really important, but it's 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 a problem. So a couple companies are working on this. Um, Lily has a, a nasal spray that comes kind of pre-loaded. Somebody's passed out, they're having a seizure, whatever. You can just squirt it into their nose. There's no mixing. They don't need to be able to take a big breath or anything like that. So that makes that a lot easier. There's no kind of fumbling with this. So that's one. Another company called Xeris has made like an auto injector pen, kind of like a, an EpiPen, where you just take it out, it's, there's no mixing, anything like that, inject it kind of right into the person. You don't see the needle or anything like that, you know, so it makes it less Super scary easy. Um, and people recover better. And uh, I believe there's a company called Zealand. Yeah. who's also making uh, a emergency glucagon, you know, kit. It, and they're, they're very stable. They can, you don't need a, they don't expire for two years, yeah. which is nice. So you can now, keep it in like a liquid. But the thing I'm most excited about is, is companies working on a mini dose glucagon. So yes, if I have a seizure or something like that, I want somebody to give me glucagon, but knock on wood, that doesn't happen that much. But they're working on little glucagon pens, so if I start going low, I can give myself a, a unit or two of glucagon, whatever that is. Um, or if I'm at the gym, there's nothing I hate more than being on the treadmill and having to drink a Coke or something. Uh, you know, you're there to try to lose weight and here you have to like eat stuff, it's super annoying. So it'd be nice to just take a couple units of glucagon, bring your blood sugars up, rather than stuffing your face. You know, and, and everyone thinks, oh, you get low, you can have some M&Ms, have a hot fudge sundae, but it, you don't, it doesn't taste that good when you're shaky and sweaty. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Us type ones, we get heavier as we get older. So, and it's also important for folks with type two, especially on insulin. So there are a lot of advances in glucagon and uh, thank you for explaining it uh, to our viewers. Yeah, well, before you get rid of me, I just wanna <laughs> say that, you know, the other thing they're working on is putting it in pumps too. Oh yeah. Um, so because it doesn't need to be in a powder now, you can put it in, you know, pump chambers. So you can just, you know, have a pump that's just secreting glucagon if you have a lot of problem with lows or these kind of dual chambered artificial pancreases with insulin and glucagon that are recreating what the normal human body does. So, so be on the lookout for glucagon because it's making a comeback and it's not just second best to insulin anymore. Yeah, it also comes from the pancreas, same, same as insulin. And uh, so there you have it, Nation. Yep. So long.